Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got Nick on the Nick Cam right there, popping open some stuff early. Here's our Jaspies 13 box playoff bound basketball mixer. The Trailblazers won an exciting game over the Memphis Grizzlies today, August 15th, 2020, in that first playing game, which I think was really cool. So now we are playoff bound, ladies and gentlemen. At the end of the break, we're gonna give away this Kobe White. Woo! Seven, seven hundred fifty dollars? More? Probably by this time next year. Could be double that if he has a good regular season. Gets him, gets the Bulls to the playoffs. That could be really interesting. That'll be in a separate dice roll at the end of the break. So even if you have got, even if you get randomized a bad team or have a bad break, just keep that in mind. You still have a shot at that. All right, these are the 13 boxes involved right here. A lot of different years, so a lot of different things to chase. Maybe a Giannis rookie, you know. Maybe some Zion's and some Jaws. Maybe Tatum's. Maybe some Ben Simmons is here in 16, 17. You know, we've got a couple 17, 18 boxes right here, too. So, a lot of good stuff. We are playoff bound. Big thanks to everyone who got their spot straight up. Yeah, and congrats again to the winter winners. Yeah, the honest rookie would be nice. And there are the teams right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a two. Five times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, and five. After five, we've got Bradley down to Zach. Three and a two, five times for the teams. And fifth and final time, after five, we've got the Houston Rockets down to the Hornets. Paulo is asking, speaking of the Rockets up there, who do you guys got in the Thunder Rockets series? Anyone have any thoughts on that? Nick Jasper was saying he likes the Rockets a lot. He likes James Harden. He likes Westbrook, possibly being part of, the, part of that series. I'm inclined to agree. I think maybe in a one-off, OKC is very dangerous, but in a, in a seven-game series? Bradley with the Rockets, Adam with the Nets, Blake with the Pistons, Narek with the Suns, Bradley with the Knicks, Mike Tower with the Nuggets, Robert with the Wizards, Matthew Shear with the Bucks, Dennis with the Sixers, Chris Gerard with the Grizzlies, Matthew with the Raptors, Chris with the Trailblazers, Minnesota uh, Timberwolves for Adam Heat. For Brian, that's nice too. Nick Stover with the Celtics, Tatum hunting. Ben with the Mavs, Ryan S with the Cavs, Guy with the Bulls, Russell with the Warriors and the Thunder, Oliver with the Magic, Jeremy got my Lakers, Jason with the Pacers, Sean with the Hawks, Pelicans for Christopher, Greg with the Kings, Bradley with the Jazz, Sean with the Spurs, Bradley with the Clippers, and Zach Wynn with the Hornets. Trades are allowed if you want. We're going to keep the video rolling while Nick's popping open uh, some packs there to get us a head start on this mixer. Hornets, anybody? P.J. Washington, Devontae Graham hunting. Since we have a number of different years, I, I think, um, I, guess the, I guess we have one 18, 19, but, but we've got a lot of different years. So a lot of different, different opportunities for a lot of different players. And of course, don't forget Kobe White Silver. It should be great. I'm gonna set that right here so I don't forget. And Narek wants to move the uh, the Red Hot Suns. Remember to consider the different years that we have in the uh, in this mixer as well. Ooh. Ooh. If he makes it, wow! I think that was close. I would replay. What's the what? Do they do this for replay? I don't know what they do for replay. They do this. They do this. Headphones. I like how they still replay, use, replay. I like how they still use like the replay. Like they also have a cell phone. Yeah. Like T-Mobile's. They don't even use a cordless phone. He's out. Wow, what a throw. Is that David Fletcher making that throw? Oh, wow. That's so close. That's, I think I he's out, out though, yeah. Yeah, yeah Mookie almost kind of missed the bat yeah. the, right at the front. But I would replay. It's kind of an awkward uh, play there. Again. All right, let's roll. It looks like no trades, and Nick's almost done with the first box. All right, TWC trade window. Oh, yeah, he missed it. He missed it, right? Yeah. If he had touched it, he would have been safe. Oh, 
called like hurricane tax stamp? What? Gravity fees? Gravity, yeah. Just like, like hurricane packs. That'd be sick. That'd be, that might be my next week. <laughs> I was like, is it? I was like, it's kind of weather related, but not gravity hurricane. I don't know. Get ready for a wild ride <laughs> of Chaspie's hurricane packs. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> mm. Will you crash or will you ride the waves? Of hurricane. hurricane. Playoff bracket here. Picking to win the East. I'll say Boston. Since everybody's gonna say Milwaukee. Um, I have officially made picks. Boston or Miami are my long shot East picks, and but Houston and Dallas. Pick, if you had to pick them, if they're all the same odds. Who would if they're all the same, I mean, it'd have to be Milwaukee. Yeah. I'll say Boston. But I would like to see, you know, Kobe Bryant, RIP, definitely had some uh, great uh, finals battles, a couple of good finals battles with the Celtics. Won one, lost one. Yeah, Lakers Celtics would be cool. So Lakers Celtics, that would be awesome. There's J.R. Smith on the Lakers now, but that will go to. Um, I will go to this team right here, the same team Kay Felder is on. Like the there you go. So Cavs, Ryan S. with the Kay Felder. Oh, the Derrick Jones Jr. Kind of hurts. Oh, yeah. Country. Is he, I, didn't, I didn't hear what happened. I mean, is he going to play now or what? That'd be good for the hobby. Kendrick Nunn, Bam Adebayo. Yep, Tyler all good Darrow. for the hobby. Milwaukee really only has Giannis. Good for the hobby. Maybe Dante DiVincenzo. There's Dame to 125 for the Trail Blazers. So the first round matchup in the East, Milwaukee, Orlando. That's got to be Milwaukee. They, they, yeah, they, that's a that's a four game sweep, right? I know, I know the Bucks didn't look super. You know, they weren't just destroying everybody. They seem to be on and off a little bit. There's De'Aaron Fox, rookie De'Aaron Fox for the Kings, Greg B. But they got to be able to beat Orlando, I think, pretty relatively comfortably, I would think. And there's Sean Kilpatrick to 125. John Wall to 125. The cards we get are the teams on the card. Correct. Yeah. It'll be all the teams on the otherwise. Can you imagine if the sorting if the shipping team had to figure out where each of these players are Thomas now? Thomas Ryan's a wizard. <laughs> Thomas Ryan's a wizard. You know, Porzingis goes to the Mavs. No, that would be a nightmare. Shipping would, take Shipping would it would take months, yeah. I mean, where's George Papagiannis right now? I don't know where, where he is. FC Bayern or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I still think the Lakers... I just, it's going to be a five-game series. I just, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it'll be a five-game series. Actually, you got the Raptors and Trailblazers going to the second round. That's a spicy take. Is Tyrell Lydon to 25? Uh, no, in the description it says veteran commons do not ship. Yeah, we got all those details in the item descriptions in our... There's Alonzo rookie right here.
So obviously, inserts like this will ship. That's numbered, so that'll ship. It'll just be like stuff like this Rudy Gobert and Auto Porter won't ship. All the RCs obviously will ship. And obviously, autographs, relics will clearly ship. It's only vet commons. Those vet commons, in case you're wondering, will uh, will end up getting sold, and all the proceeds will be uh, donated to whatever charity we feel like donating yeah, to. Yeah, at Lakers, Celtics, Anthony Davis is Children's final Hospital, final of LA, Boys and Girls Club, etc. Bam out of bio, Miami Heat. Hey, who do you have? Lakers, Celtics, six game series. Lakers Love win. It. Anthony Davis. Finals MVP. Wow, Anthony Davis Finals MVP. Yeah. That that would make me very happy. I think the big talk around LA is that is that oh does Anthony is he like a little too passive? He's not taking over games the way like LeBron could or the way right. Steph Curry does or the way Kobe does, so on and so forth. He hasn't. I mean, he's great. He can sleepwalk and get like twenty five points and fifteen rebounds blocks. a night, right? A couple blocks. But can he? Yeah, can, just a great defense can Anthony Davis really take over? Is a game is really like the big question mark for him. But then you come to the thing. Well, he has no excuses now. Before it's like, oh, Pelicans, you know, yeah, but. Yeah, no support. But now he's got LeBron. He's got a good supporting cast. Well, LeBron's kind of got a built-in excuse. He's thirty-five. Anthony Davis is right. that many. He's, he should be in his prime. How do you career. donate vet and spender in the commons? Um, I think you can probably find whatever is in your area. You may be able to donate either directly to them. We have a. 3,000 square foot shop here in a big commu collecting community. We so people just buy them and then we just put them, we just them. donate the money. Yeah. That's probably the easiest way. And that's Trevor Booker to 25. These are retail sets, so they got these little codes there. There's Anna Obi to 125. Josh Hart. Those are the Lakers. Zach Collins. All right, so no one had any, had any commentary on or Milwaukee, Orlando. They agree with us. Indiana, Miami. That's got to be Miami, right? I hate how they do this. And you're just like, oh, Shaq, Heat Edition autograph? No. That will ship, but... Yeah, I feel like Miami is built really well. And what happens if Miami meets Milwaukee? That's a great series, right? Ooh. Uh, no, we, we don't accept card donations, no. We have enough veteran commons as it is here that we're trying to move. You want to sell them? Not sell them, just like rip a Sure. Pokemon? No, he wants to rip score baseball. <laughs> Knock yourself out, Teddy. Teddy needs some people to buy. Miami some all day, huh? Does anybody want to buy some boxes so he doesn't have to? <laughs> you need a PhD to understand the hit pack breaks? I don't think so. What's what are, what are you what are you confused about? What? We randomize your names. You get assigned a number. We open a pack. You get a card. From you me. get a card. <laughs> I think you're overcomplicating it. To 25, Kelly Aubrey Jr., orange. PhD. <laughs> I hope not. I'm pretty sure we have less than, not everyone's a Mensa here. They figured it out. <laughs> PhD. You don't get the packs open as they sell? Here, I'll read it to you. The earlier you buy, the quicker your pack will break. Please read. We'll be randomizing only the list of packs, numbers 1 through 12. We will break in the order of when you placed your orders. All right? So it'll, it'll just, it's just going in, like, let's say Ford buys the first pack, then whatever pack number gets randomized to you, that's what you'll get. So we're going in, in, in name order. But obviously all the packs have to sell before we can even do it. But the, the earlier you buy, the sooner... You know, we'd be able to open your pack. There's only 12, though, so it's not going to take very long. But it's a random, it's a random hit break. So you'll get, you get a random pack, and there's a hit inside. They could be hundred dollar hits. They could be seven hundred dollar hits. 
but everything on the case brake side, Ford, everything has to get to spots zero on the site before we can do anything. So it's not like the personal brake side where we can go one at a time. On here, these are group brakes. We need the entire group to sell everything out and get it to zero before any action can happen. Maybe that was a confusion because personal brake boxes, I think, sometimes just goes one at a time. All right, Bobby Port is to 125. Have you seen a rookie sign more that Tua, more than Tua? I don't think he signs a lot. Probably no more than any of the rookies from previous years. In fact, just because, oh, nice Jason Tatum. In fact, because of his status, there's probably less Tua autographs than most other, most other rookies. John Morant should win the Rookie of the Year, Patrick. I don't think that's a hot take. I think that's pretty, pretty much everyone's thinking. It'd be, it'd be a shock if he didn't. Jason Tatum, Nick Stober, Celtics. Ooh, done already? That one's last? Why? It's a lucky envelope. Ooh. You never open one of those I've Apple never Pie boxes? Opened. Not for optic. Not for optic. Yeah. Team off. Lucky envelope. Mm, all right. It's lucky because they're numbered to eight. Oh, yeah. Eight's a lucky number in China. Yeah. All right. Let's get some. So big thanks to Nick. This is going to make this mixer go by a little bit faster. ago wouldn't have sleeved this Kelton Johnson I wouldn't have set it aside for the shipping team to top load but he had a, he had an incredible restart game second year Michael Porter Jr. Hachimura Yeah, Darius Baisley's stock could could skyrocket during during the playoff games. We'll do a left right randomizer on that at the end of the break. All right, uh, what about? No one's giving me any thoughts on any of these games, so we're all just assuming Milwaukee's going to win over Orlando, and that Miami's going to beat Indiana. So what about uh, Boston and Philadelphia? There's Jalen Rose. Oh, this is your first year breaking, says Zach. Went okay. I get what I get. What you're saying now. No, it's not uncommon to see th that amount of autographs for Tua. There's Jalen Rose, Indiana Pacers. Speaking of the Pacers, Jason. Boston and Philadelphia is your other Eastern Conference matchup, your three and six matchup. What do you got? Celtics, right? Unless Simmons comes back, he could make it interesting. I mean, Joel Embiid could go off, right? And he can just take over a game? But yeah, I don't know. I think, I think, I think losing Ben Simmons, I think, may have demoralized them just a little bit. We'll see. Thankfully, they're in a bubble. Remember how much trouble they had on the road? They had a lot of trouble winning games on the road, and I think I think they've got to be super happy. I think they've got to be super happy that they're they're in a bubble situation because, for whatever reason, they just couldn't take care of business on the road. We got Dylan Windler, hot signatures for the Cavs. That's gonna be for Ryan S. and the Cavs. Yeah, maybe too much hype for Joel Embiid. Maybe he just. Being, being in front of the crowd just gets gets him too fired up. I 
Thanks, John Moran. Two weeks ago, I would not have set aside that Cameron Johnson. There might be a little bit of upside there. I know, we're about to pull Heat Fire Department. We're getting there. Nice John Morant for the Grizz, Chris Gerard. No, Joel Embiid, somewhat of a Shaq personality, can get lazy, turns it off, on when he wants to. Yeah, except when Shaq turns it off, he still dominates games. Joel Embiid is not at that level yet. <laughs> Shaq could, Shaq could turn it off and still score like 40 points a game and have 15 re That's the thing. That's what Kobe was so frustrated about was that if Shaq did have it on the entire time, which he could have, you know, and took care of his body and was all that sort of stuff, I mean, he might be the greatest player of all time. That's the thing. I think that's the thing that drove LA fans and, and Kobe Bryant crazy. Was that was that Shaquille O'Neal? If he had it turned on every game and played defense and did all the stuff that he was more than capable of doing, you know, he he might have easily been the number one player of all time. And so it'd be like Michael Jordan, Shaq, is what people would be saying. Instead, he's like the maybe just the fifteenth best player in the top fifteen, maybe of all time, instead of the top five. I mean, we're splitting hairs at this point, but because he's still amazing. This guy's pretty amazing too, LeBron. And Zion, we know all about him. That'll go to the Pelicans, Chris Gerard. Chris, you have the Grizzlies and the Pelicans. Wow. Well, good luck, man. All right, what about Toronto, Brooklyn? It's got to be Toronto, I'm thinking. Is that, that, that pretty easy? All right, contenders draft pick. Let's go. We go by the check. Well, we go by the checklist for everything, but I may need a little help for the basketball. No, we're on Brooklyn, uh, Brooklyn, uh, Toronto, Brooklyn right now. That's got to be Toronto pretty easily. All right. All right. Lakers, Portland. I mean, I'm a Lakers fan. I'm going Lakers. All right. I got the checklist up. Here we go. Kobe. And we got Eric Pascal. 92 out of 99 for the Warriors. Russell for the Warriors. Post it note. I, I had a post it note sitting here. Oh, there it is. It's behind Kobe White. Kobe White, what are you doing here? We're not ready for you yet. Got a Zion. Yeah, I think I think I think the Nets will stumble into a couple wins. They're good. I mean, I like the Nets a lot. I think they're a great team, but maybe they're, I mean they're a they're a Kyrie and KD away, right? There's a Dylan Windler, Cavs, Ryan S. You just have to check out check the website every day, Matt Gwin, or Zach Wynn. This goes to Ryan S.
All right, Lakers, Trailblazers. Don't worry, you don't have to hurt my feeling. You don't have to worry about hurting my feeling. I got pretty thick skin if you say Blazers. I'm saying Lakers. There's Daniel Gafford. Is that Bulls or Cavs? Bulls, right? Bulls. So that will go to Guy with the Bulls. Maybe I was thinking of a different DG, a Darius Garland, maybe. He was probably what I was thinking of. All right, that goes to Chicago. Nice, Jarrell. Just sent your first cards off to PSA. There you go. Be patient with them. <laughs> and a one of one, Carl Anthony Towns. Wow, nice championship ticket card. T Wolves, Adam Kupperman. There you go, Adam. All of them, it needs to be more direct with that. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, and there's Mariel Shyock. Not sure where. Where's Mariel go? Clippers? Sixers? Sixers. There you go. And this is a red, white, and blue team. That goes to Dennis Knox and Philadelphia. I think we're saving like second year Luka Doncic's, right? Even those, believe it or not, those second year cards still have been. Still doing okay on the secondary market. Max Strauss, 10 out of 10. Struss, not Strauss, Struss. Is a Celtic. That will go to Nick Stober and Baston. And Terrence Davis, who I think is a Clipper. A Raptor. I'm thinking of Terrence Mann. You can see where my thought process is. Got him. Better run scores. Um, what service did you, like, what speed did you use, Jarrell? How long do you think it's going to take? Let's do some optic here. What about, so I'm assuming the Lakers will advance. Houston, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma advances. I don't think we've talked, yeah, Denver, I think Paolo was mentioning this. Denver, Utah. What do we think about Denver, Utah? That could be a pretty, that could be a low-key, really good series. Seven games, good battle. Donovan Mitchell, speaking of Jazz, Bradley with that one. Jason Tatum, that's nice, rated rookie. Yeah, PSA is pretty backed up, that's what I was asking. Even if you pay up for like the big speedy services, I think it'll still take a while. Nice Jason Tatum, though, for Nick Stober. Another gradable type thing. Nuggets should win five if Bull Bull and MPJ get the minutes they deserve. Those guys would be the linchpin, right? You got Gobert, you got Donovan Mitchell, but who are the other guys? You know, it's got to be, you know, it's... Justin Jr. It's got it's to be Bull Bull. It's got to be Michael Porter Jr. really getting aggressive and getting getting crazy. So that could be interesting. Uh, 
And we've got an autograph. We've got Tyler Cavanaugh and a hollow De'Aaron Fox. Wow. So the Hawks, Sean Maddock, gets the Tyler Cavanaugh. And look at this. Rated rookie, hollow. These are the these are the real desirable ones here. De'Aaron Fox, Kings, Greg with the Kings. Nice. Oh, yeah, there's the Jamal Murray factor for... I don't know. I think that's going to be a good series. Denver, Utah. What about in the final matchup that we have not really discussed yet? Clippers, Dallas. There's Rudy Gobert. Clippers, Dallas. Who does everyone have? Yeah, Michael Porter Jr. A lot of people say that if it wasn't for his injuries... He might have been a top two pick or something like that. It's got to be Dallas, right? Or I'm sorry, it's got to be Clippers, right? I, I mean... But I'll tell you what. I do have a... Uh, I do have a Dallas to win the Western Conference long, super mega long shot pick at plus 2,000. So... I mean, obviously, it's probably going to be Clippers-Lakers, but... Jason Kidd might get a coaching job. There's a lot of vacancies. Assistant coach on the Lakers right now behind Frank Vogel. So there could be some... Uh, could have a job somewhere soon. All right, nice Michael Porter Jr. Yeah, I mean... When those knees are healthy. Woo. Real good. Mo Bamba. Uh, sorry, Nuggets. That'll be Mike Tower. There you go, Mike. That's a nice one. Michael Porter Jr. rated rookie. There's a Mo Bamba rated rookie for Ollie. And the SGA Clippers edition. Going to Bradley. All right, some old 1718 prism. Yeah, there you go. Jared Allen. You know, I really like Jared Allen's game. I saw him in a in a Nets game a couple nights ago where I mean, he's he's making monster dunks and just getting all sorts of offensive boards. I think this was the Nets uh, T-Wolves game. You know, he was getting all sorts of he he got an offensive rebound that gave Karis LeVert a lot of shots. I like his game a lot, Adam Kupperman, with the Nets. Yeah, I don't know what the what coach would be the best. Well, we've got to find out eventually how many coaches will be available. Then there's probably some coaches we're not even thinking of. I wonder, think about, this is a good question that Mike Tower's bringing up. What happens with, with, with fall basketball, right? I'm holding this up because there's a coach here. Fall basketball. No fall basketball. What? How many coaches will be like, maybe they'll opt out of their of their college basketball contract to go to the NBA, right? So there could be some college coaches in the mix who are just like, yeah, uh, I'm not doing anything for the fall. Who knows if I'm even going to be doing anything basketball-wise for a year if, if it doesn't, if, you know, basketball doesn't happen, then what do they do? Yeah, Jason Kidd with the Pelicans, coaching Lonzo. I mean, Lonzo could be could be a, a Jason Kidd type player. Not exactly a great outside shooter, but could go inside, pass the ball really well. That's what Jason Kidd did. What Jason Kidd did especially well was play defense. Now, if you can teach Lonzo how to play some lockdown defense, that would be huge. There's Enos Cantor, OKC edition. Kyrie, Kyrie Silver. Yes. 
Terrence Ferguson. Jameer Nelson, Fred Hoiberg. Bulls need a new coach too. And Cody Zeller. Cody Zeller autograph for the Hornets. Zach Wynn tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Now, if Lon well, yeah, last few years of career, kid developed a three. Lonzo could if he really worked. It's true. Can you imagine if Lonzo can shoot the three and distribute as well as he, as, as well as he does? And Zion does his thing, and Drew Holiday does his thing. They got J.J. Redick, and they add Brandon Ingram still there. <laughs> Brandon Ingram could be a star. So Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, Zion, that's not bad. and Drew Holiday. That's not bad. Isaiah Thomas to 269. So I'm assuming Milwaukee and Miami will play each other. And then Boston and uh, Boston and Toronto. That's a good series. Let's say, man, could Miami advance to the conference finals? Would it be Miami-Toronto? Miami-Boston? That'd be really interesting. Miami-Boston would be pretty cool. Boston-Toronto, you think? I I'd love that. I think that'd be really exciting. I think the Bucks can get got. With little, some good coaching, Bucks can get got. Uh, let's say Lakers win. Lakers, Houston. Ooh, that's a good series too. Lakers, Houston. Let's. I'm gonna go with my Lakers. Lakers win. Let's say, let's say Denver wins. They're the higher seed. Denver Clippers. Clippers move on. Lakers Clippers is what everyone's expecting. We got Cedric Maxwell. Maxwell. Speaking of the Celtics, 48 out of 49. I think so. I think Milwaukee can be schemed against. I think Miami can beat Milwaukee, Paolo. I mean, you know, former video guy Eric Spolstra turns out to be, you know, coaching Savant. I think Jimmy Butler has, has a, an intensity level that, that can be unmatched. Trey Lyles for the Jazz, Bradley. Chris Dunn for the Timberwolves, Adam. You know, and then they've got some young, energetic guys, right? Kendrick Nunn, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler leading the way, Bam Adebayo's there, you know. And if they have Derek Jones Jr. back by then, and he's just knocking down threes left and right. Isaiah Thomas. I mean, and they're well coached. You can just kind of, you can kind of just scheme against Giannis, basically, and then... Who else is going to kill you on the Bucks? I mean, they got a solid team, but because I'll bet if if Tyler Hero and Kendrick Nunn were on the Bucks right now, they'd be getting significant minutes. Paul Pierce. Brooklyn Nets. That will go to Adam Kupperman. Yeah, Lakers definitely have a tough road. I mean, if they if they Portland's going to be a tough series. Houston is going to be a, if it's Houston, it's going to be a tough series. If it's Clippers, it's going to be a tough series. It's going to be yeah. The, the Lakers will need to need to. I mean, LeBron will just needs to be really on on point. They just have to hope that they can dispatch nice Oladipo rookie dispatch the Trailblazers as quickly as possible so they can gear up for another difficult series against uh, the Rockets probably. Or even OKC would be tough for seven games. By the way, this is 13-14 Crusade, so we're looking for uh, Giannis rookie cards here. And we end up with a Jason Smith Pelicans apprentice autograph. Not that I want to have more. If there was a brawl in the playoffs, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe in playoffs, maybe not a huge brawl in the playoffs. Maybe if it's seventh game or something like that, and some or some team's about to get swept, 
and the losing team just kind of wants to pick a fight. I can see that. There's Jimmy Butler, Chicago edition. Jason Terry. I think I'd be a I think I'd be a headband guy if I if I played in the association. I think I'd be a headband guy. This is Xavier Henry. Two forty nine. There's Manu Ginobili die cut. Would I be an arm sleeve guy? That's, I don't know. I guess it depends on what nagging injury I have. I feel like it's more of an injury thing. Right? Less, less of a style thing. There's OJ Mayo to 349. Okay, no Giannis's yet. Maybe, last chance. There's Isaiah Thomas, Kings edition to 349. D. Wade, not numbered, and Jason Smith. All right, no Giannis is in there. Did, did Kobe do a one-leg compression sleeve for a while, for style? I thought it was because he had like some nagging like knee injury. Some knee thing that he needed just compressed. It's Paul George, Lords of the Court. 75. Russell Westbrook, coat of arms relic, Rockets. I, uh, those compression things are, what a, what a genius invention. I, uh, I slept on my back weird one time. Oh, nice, KCP. Play defense, KCP. We need you. Step up. I know you can. Slept on my back really weird, really messed up my lower back a couple of years ago. And bought one of those, uh, well, it's the thing that Brett Favre and Jerry Rice, they do a commercial for, you kind of wrap that little wrap around your waist or something like that to, I was surprised, I was shocked at, at how well that like improved. Like I can just do day-to-day -day functions. KCP die cut autograph goes to Jeremy Port. I was like, this is, this is sorcery. I think I called it sorcery. All right, this is sixteen seventeen prison mosaic. So we're looking for sixteen seventeen rookies. Ben Simmons is one of the big ones. There's a Giannis. We'll save one of these. That's, that's not numbered, by the way. Another Giannis, that's just a, I guess, technically, but there's a Ben Simmons, nice. So, for those of you who don't know, Ben Simmons, his autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck. I think it still is. So that's why you don't see Ben Simmons autographs. So consequently, all of his rookie stuff that was printed in 1617 just got an extra boost, in, and people like Ben Simmons, you know, but he got an extra boost in value. I don't think I don't think that has changed much. If he comes back, is he is he going to play in the playoffs? If he comes back, if he is, if he comes back healthy and plays well, that could be pretty huge. Dennis Knox on the Sixers. That could that could really bring a boost in value. Another Ben Simmons, nice, different parallel, and a LeBron James. Wow, nice sixteen seventeen. But yeah, that copper wrap, Eric, it works. A little little lower back thing, and then. After a little bit of that, I felt great. Dennis Knox, another another Ben Simmons. Nice LeBron James. Oh, knee dislocation plus surge. Oh yeah, yeah, he's not coming back. And a couple Giannis is going out to uh, the Bucks. That'll be Matthew Shiro. All right, two more boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got this Donner's Choice. And this exclusive right here. They call it a lucky box or something like that? Yeah, lucky envelope.
All right. We got Hamadou Diallo to 35. We got Dwayne Bacon to 99. We've got R.J. Barrett, not numbered, for the Knicks. Bradley. Carson Edwards, Celtics. Nick Stober. Jalen McDaniels, Hornets. Ty Jerome, Suns. Merrick with that. Tremont Waters, Celtics, next over. So these are all the exclusive choice parallels. All right, two autographs in here. Let's see what we got. First one is, is, whoa, Hakeem Olajuwon. 76 out of 99, Hakeem the Dream, Olajuwon. Rockets, Bradley. Nice. And the second and final autograph out of this choice box is is old Cliff Hagen. 81 out of 99 for the Atlanta Hawks, Sean Maddock. All right, a couple old school guys in this choice box. Interesting. Cody Martin for the Hornets. Zach Wynn with that to 99. All right, let's see what's in here. Just two exclusive cards, number to eight. So extremely low numbers. All right, first one is nice, DeMar DeRozan. Sean with the Spurs, Sean Maddock, nice. That is six out of eight. And back here we have Kyle Lowry, Raptors. Weren't they traded for each other? Was that intentional? Toronto, Matthew Shira. Nice. And that is seven out of eight. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, excellent. What a solid, solid break. All right, now, let's see what happens here. If you had a great break, this is a nice cherry on top. If you had a bad break, well, that would change everything. All right, so let me get that set up here. All right, so let's flip screens right there. Everyone has a shot from Sean and the Hawks down to Robert and the Wizards. And there was that left-right random. And there's some other left-right cards, so that'll represent all the left-right cards. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a one, six times for each list. This one first. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Six and final time. Right side will get them. So all the right side cards that you saw will get them. And now for the silver, Kobe White, Gem Mint 10, PSA 10. Five and a one, six times. Name on top after six. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. Six times. After six times, congrats to Russell Horowitz. I don't, Russ, I don't think I called your name all break. What team did you have? I don't even know where you are on this list. Warriors. I feel like there wasn't, wasn't much for them, but there's a lot here for you. Nice. There you go. There you go, man. Congrats to you. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. That was Jaspi's 13 box playoff bound basketball mixer. We are playoff bound, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.